Paul, fantastic win, back-to-back -back victories on the road. You must be absolutely delighted with what was a wonderful win in a, in a, in a pulsating game. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> all of that. Back-to-back um, -back wins in a, wet, in, a, in a week away from home, it's a big step forward for us. Um, in both games, we've adapted our way we played in order to get those wins. So, yeah, really, really pleased and uh, just a, a really good week. Started, I mean, the goal taken by Connor to begin with was, was you know, super chest down, lovely finish to get the, the game going. But then you conceded quickly after. Did you have a sinking feeling after that happening before? No, I think we... Um, I think our mind's in a good place. And I think, uh, you know, you think correctly, you act correctly. It doesn't mean they can't win a penalty. Uh, disappointed about it, of course. But, um, no, I, I, I generally thought we'd win the game. And you can see by the changes again we made and the way we did it and... It was always going to be a uh, a game with plenty of twists and turns. I've been, been here too many times to to to, to know any different. And so really, really pleased. Good, to, good to get some goals and uh, nice to see out that last five minutes. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> it was very nervy at the end, wasn't it? I mean, you made the changes um, at the break and you, the formation changed. It was more of a four four two formation, wasn't it? And, and it it completely nullified what they had going forward. Yeah, I mean, I, I, again, I wanted. I suppose I wanted three attackers on the pitch in that second half in the, in the right areas. It's not about the number of attackers you have; it's about where they're playing and, right. and the route to goal. So, you know, we, we we ended up with obviously with Chucks came on at half time and um, with uh, with Jake and uh, and Kieran. We still had the three players there. It was just we had to just adapt the style. It's all about changing your style and yeah, countering what the opposition do. And they did really well for the first 20 minutes. You know, they gave us a few problems. And But I knew it'd be a game where they got, I've, been, I've been here too many times and played here. The game always opens up. There's always a, there's always a twist in the tail. So, thankfully, we had it today. You got those two goals. Went 3-1 in front. By that point, you were probably breathing a little bit easier. You were confident that you were going to win the game. And you've already said they got that goal 89 minute and everyone was hanging on. I mean, it was frantic in that final five or six minutes. Yeah, I, I don't think we're the only ones in, in, in the Football League that when you're a couple of goals up are going to come under pressure you know it's I think let's just let's just look at it realistically if you keep going two goals up by definition you are two goals up and by definition the opposition are trying to get a goal and if they do score they're coming back at you and of course we have come on once or twice before but you saw today Portsmouth for example 3-0 up you know it's yeah. you know it, it's it's a really 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 tough thing to do to finish off football matches and today we did it okay they got a goal but we did it so Let's let's move on. We we did it. We got we got the three points. The players were tough. They did the right things. We're trying to score fourth actually. So in in, in many ways we're doing all the things you should be doing. Um, during commentary, I, I tend to pick up the names that I'm saying over and over again. And one name that I said over and over and over again was Alex Gilby this afternoon. It seemed to be always happening that Alex Gilby was on the ball, either going forward or defending. He's he's a monster, isn't he? Yeah, it's about trying to play a style which fits the style of the players and get the best out of the players and uh, one he's beginning to build his game this season and after a layoff last year he's beginning to get that rhythm but secondly now it's all about trying to get the best out of our players and you know we're now finding a groove for him that we can play away on his side of the pitch which gets the best out of him and I thought equally Conor McGrandles was, was outstanding in, in a different way with a different yeah. type of craft on the right hand side of that midfield so yeah, Alex and Connor, but they all—they all were good today. And yeah. Usa, again, that midfield three did really, really well. And the, just finally, the, the the two wins have just calmed everything down. You're two points off the play, off the automatic promotion spots. And I know what your answer is going to be because I, I know you've said it to me before. But it, it's it's just turned things around a little, hasn't it? It has. And even forgetting the league table, we we feel better about ourselves. I feel better because we have been able to change the way we played during a game, which. Up until recently, we've just played away, gone a couple of goals, and we just kept doing the same things because we've not yet developed that way. We're developing again. Um, the players feel better about themselves, I'm sure. And there's competition for places. By you know, by golly, there's suddenly there's there's competition for places right across that team. And with uh, Jordan Moore Taylor hopefully back soon, the whole thing is going to just hopefully we can we can mount a serious last two or three months to our season always good when you can send fans who have made the trip home from somewhere like Carlisle with a victory isn't it yeah fabulous they've had a good week and uh, they deserve it because we've we've given them too many um, disappointing trips home from away games over the last two or three months so thank you very much to them thank you very much